seasons and reason it was. But the effect of this Arise Women's Conference will remain with us for a long time to come. Good morning, church, and welcome to this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Bolanle. Several thousands of women across the land came together for the annual Arise Women's Conference, which held yesterday. The attendees and all invited guests, upon registration, started trooping into the expansive sanctuary of the City of David Parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, venue of this year's conference, tagged Seasons and Reasons. The conference got on the way with a session of awesome praise and worship led by the wonderful and inspiring Voices in Zion. This was followed by the rendition of the Arise Anthem, and the reeling out of rib cracking jokes by the comedians present. The convener and chief host of the conference, our very own Pastor Shiju Iluyomade, gave the goodwill address. Our rice theme this year is seasons and reason. There's a time for everything under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to be slayed, a time to flourish, a time to be young, a time to be old, a time to be just about everything. There's nothing which happens to you that is not common to man. Look at your neighbor and tell them there's a time for everything. The invited guest artist took turns to electrify the whole place with the rendition of their soul-lifting songs. First to perform was Jazzy T. <laughs> Followed by our very own Adewale Ayuba. <laughs> didn't disappoint either. Then came Frankie Edwards. Wave your hands to Jesus. Speaking on the theme, Seasons and Reasons, the guest minister, Mrs. Lizzie Ayodele, wife of the Nigerian ambassador to Greece, and Pastor Mrs. Christy Bature Obefu, stirred the souls of all the congregants as they both engaged their rapt attention. Many came to Christ afterwards. I look at young girls and they're almost naked on the streets. When I was a child, it's women that made women's clothes and they covered them up. And now the highest paid designers for women's clothes are men. And they're stripping them every day, more and more, leaving them naked. And we're paying thousands of dollars for it to wear nothing and come out. And I'm wondering, who are the mothers of these girls? I don't see Amina and Fatima and Salamatu naked on the streets. I see Angelina, Christiana, Deborah, Ruth, Mary, Magdalene. Who are the mothers of these children? They are in church. When will you open your mouth and speak? The medical team on ground, courtesy of the Healing Stripes Hospital, which is a corporate social responsibility initiative of the church and other medical personnel from the Nigerian Christian Medical and Dental Council, offered free medical and eye screening to the participants at the conference. One of the highlights of the conference was the conferment of the Arise Ambassador Award to the first consultant hospital for their national heroics in stopping the spread of the Ebola virus disease. The award was received by the younger sister to the late Dr. Ada Adadevo. With the conference finally over, we believe that the participants at this year's Arise program are left with the consciousness to decipher their seasons and what they represent and how to prepare themselves for the change.
who is a Pharisee? A Pharisee is some someone that is too far to see the promise of the Lord. God. A Pharisee is one that is a wait, 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 wait. That is novel. Repeat yourself. A Pharisee is one that is too far to see the promises of God. Hallelujah. We have to clap for him. Amen. Give him, give him an envelope. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pharisee means separated from sin and sinners. Who said that? Who said that? Where back, are you? At the back, yes, sir. Where are you? At the back, yes. Where? Give him two envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> separated from sin and separated from sinners. One of the um, characteristics of the modern day Pharisees. Are you one? Just like. Yes. Are you a modern day Pharisee? Yes, I wanted to start that with Ah, you are a modern day Pharisee. No, as in, because the truth is. I say, are you a modern day Pharisee? Yes, I wanted to start that with I wanted to, I wanted to. I ask you one last time. Are you a modern day Pharisee? Ah, why are you answering for him now? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sir, please, let me just... No, 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 no. Answer first. You will answer. Because it takes a modern-day Pharisee to know a modern-day Pharisee and to answer and get the question and the envelope. So, are you a modern-day Pharisee? Yes, but I will, uh -huh. start. I will stop. Let's clap for him, amen. Because he's the right person to answer this question. Yes. Praise the sir. Lord. Sir, hallelujah. Praise What's your name, sir? My name is Zadok. Zadok from the Bible. He was a priest, oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's clap for Zadok. Amen. Yes, answer. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the reason why I wanted to even start by making myself an example is that now a Pharisee is someone who tries to give an impression that, he's, that he, he doesn't really have just because he wants things. Now, first of all, okay, I'm really sorry for those who might not like what I'm going to say, but most of us come to church or come to evening services because of envelopes. Now, <laughs> Let's try... clap for this guy. Yes, finish. Land. Mm -hmm. okay. We try. We try. We try to want to take part. We want to be part of the service only because of the week coming. Let's, uh, uh, as in, we try to want to know because of what we want to get. We are not doing it because we want to soak ourselves genuinely in Christ. Oh, we do give him two envelopes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, A1. A1. But as I gave you those two envelopes, you say, Pastor, I'm not here for the envelopes. I give it back. But the way you are clutching to the envelope <laughs> I see if your life depends on it maybe that's why you said you are a modern day Pharisee yeah. let's clap for him amen. <laughs> hallelujah yes. praise the Lord hallelujah your prayers will not be answered my prayers will be answered in Jesus name <laughs> now rephrase yourself rephrase yourself where is she where is she where is she where are you? <laughs> yes, uh huh. <laughs> so come join us this Tuesday for another interesting time as we study the word in a no holds barred manner at our Digging for Gold service. Time is 6 30 p.m. And on Wednesday, the handmaidens of the Lord will meet here in the sanctuary by 12 30 p.m. to bond and fellowship. The theme for this week is. See no evil, hear no evil, say no evil. While on Thursday, by 6.30 p.m., a power-packed prayer, praise, and Pentecost service will be holding here in the sanctuary. Then on Friday by noon, the walls of Jericho will fall down once more as we lift the name of the Lord in total praise and worship at our His Lord's Praise Hour service. You won't be able to attend these services due to reasons beyond your control. Not to worry, simply log on to the church website at www.cityofdavidng.org 
to access the live streaming options and for further information about the church programs. Oasis, a drama series from the producers of Heaven's Gate, the life-changing inspirational soap opera premieres this Friday, 31st of October 2014 at the City Mall Ikeja. Red carpet for the premiere starts 2.30 p.m. And from the 1st of November, the soap opera will be showing on AIT at 9 p.m. every Saturday and on DSTV African Magic Family Channel 154 every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. from the 2nd of November. On the 18th of October 2014, City of David Ternate Parish in Eastern Indonesia held an evangelistic outreach in a neighboring community. The power of God moved so mightily that 31 souls were won for Christ on the night and the sick got healed. Glory be to God. Are you paying too much for advertisement? Then take advantage of the Avant God magazine's amazing offer to promote your goods and services in their special last edition for the year. They offer rates to accommodate all budgets and have a wide coverage that promotes awareness and enhances sales. As part of this interesting offer, they will be offering a 10% discount off the standard rate for all advertisements. So hurry up as only limited spaces are available. And this offer will end on the 25th of November, 2014. For more information, contact the magazine's desk at the church office or call 080-257-522-8000. Now to sports. COD United team has won the third place position in the MTN Lagos Street Soccer Season 7 Under 15 category. They defeated Festa Grammar School boys in the third place match by a lone goal. This coming Sunday, 2nd of November, is a monthly Thanksgiving and last dance service. So come with a merry heart as we thank the Lord for all what he has done in this our month of beautiful tomorrows and focus on him with our last dance in anticipation of what he will do in the coming month. In the beginning there was. God said, let there be and there was. Day, night, earth. Oceans, moon, sun and stars, insects, reptiles, mammals, tame and wild. And then God spoke man into existence, the very form and image of him. Then God rested. And now join me in exalted worship of the God King and maker of all things as Ty Trinit, Tasha Cobbs, Sonny Badu, Anytime Adaba, the sounds of heaven and the psalmists, voices in Zion and BJ Sachs, lead us in worship of our great and mighty God at the Fidelity Open Ground along Palm Shoprite Road, Abaido Oniru Street, Lekki, Lagos, on Friday, the 21st of November from 9 p.m. till dawn. It is gonna be a night of worship. Now we leave you with this. The Lord will arise to give you that needed raise and raise down every obstacle and difficulties in your path as you race through this week in Jesus' name. Have a blessed week. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.